gosh guys, I'm so nervous filming this because there are so many people walking outside. It's a nice sunny day today, so that means everyone and their moms are out. <laughs> Hi friends, my name is Elaine and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I just turned 25. It's funny because when I was younger, I had so many ideas of what I would be like and what I would be doing at this age. And I feel like my life now is full of surprises but I would not change a single thing. If I were to introduce myself, I'm someone who chronically loves taking on new hobbies, a good black coffee, spending quality time with my loved ones, and living life to my very best with God. But a big part of who I am today can only be explained by who I was and what I've learned in my early 20s. So let's rewind a little bit. <laughs> the posture change. The first lesson I learned is to stop waiting for life to happen. Placing your happiness in something you don't have is a self-fulfilling prophecy because you will never be happy. Sometimes it's almost easier to believe some external change in your circumstance like a new job or city or relationship will solve your problems rather than having to face your own life. To be honest, I struggled with this fact all of my early 20s. I felt like I was forced to sit in this uncomfortable chapter of my life where I wanted so many different things in my life to change. But in this period of waiting, when I was forced to surrender and let go of control over my life, I felt this gradual change in my heart. A transformation from fear and anxiety to peace and excitement in knowing that life will go the way it's meant to be. And when I started investing in my present life, I started building the life I actually wanted, whether it was deepening my relationships or doing exciting hobbies that I always wanted to try. Which leads me to my next point, some things are only solved by time. I spent my early 20s feeling really impatient with my life. To lock on to my first meeting. I wanted to reach a certain lifestyle and be this perfect, experienced person at work but I honestly felt like I had nothing to my name because it was true. And that's how it's supposed to be when you're young. I wish I hadn't spent that time feeling so frustrated with myself and my life and instead just enjoyed being young and having the humility to make mistakes and learn from the people around me. Whether it's your next career move or healing from a breakup, it is the utter humbling fact that time is something we humans can't control. So if you're feeling impatient about wanting the next chapter of your life to begin, I hope this comforts you that the right timing will come, and in the meanwhile, I hope you can enjoy the present moments that only come once. One pattern I've noticed is the people who've kept me grounded, especially in the times when I felt lost with the direction of my life. When I didn't feel like myself, these people reminded me of who I am and loved on me. For example, whenever I visited home and I was feeling discouraged from life, being reminded of the fact that my family is rooting for me unconditionally really energized me. Even at work, I realized a world of a difference when I talked to people who believed in me. So I just want to thank each person who supported me and expressed my gratitude. Especially in this life stage where I'm continuously changing, I'm so grateful for the people who have stayed constant in my life. We are not meant to do life alone, so keep these people close because they are irreplaceable. The single thing I realized that cost me in my relationships was assuming what someone was thinking instead of communicating with them. We can't control or project our own thoughts onto someone else, but what we can do is communicate and try to understand others with empathy. Health is wealth. And by this, I mean both mental and physical because I've realized how much the two are tied together. When I'm mentally stressed, it affects my ability to rest and makes me even more physically fatigued. I realized how easily I would get burnt out because I neglected the simple fact that it is so important to listen to yourself when your body may be giving signals that you're exhausted and need rest. The biggest reason I started prioritizing working out and exercising in my 20s is because it really helps me to regulate my internal self and state of mind. Next is learning to be true to myself. I am someone who always leans into my gut when I make a decision and sometimes my gut intuition is wrong. But this is less about making the wrong choice and more about what it means to listen to yourself and what values are important to you. You can listen to all the advice you want in the world from other people, your friends, podcasts, and while all of this can help you better discern a situation, especially if you lack the knowledge, at the end of the day, it is still your decision. And as you experience different situations and learn more about yourself, 
you'll be able to form what values and goals are important to you and allow that to shape your choices. The importance of goal setting. Something a friend told me as I was graduating was to get into the habit of goal setting. Whether it's smaller goals like working out at the gym or larger goals like buying a house, it really helps to have goals because life can start to blend and pass you by once you start getting into the routine of working. This is something I'm still working on getting into the habit of, but I found that these goals or milestones help me to orient myself in how I spend my time and energy rather than mindlessly letting my time slip away. Lastly, you will change a lot during this time of your life to the point where you might feel unrecognizable in some aspects. I used to love a sweet iced vanilla latte when I was 21 and now I prefer a strong black coffee. There are parts of me that I feel really proud of myself for growing in, but also parts of me that I feel like I've lost or grieved in knowing that I will never be the same. But it is actually all of these parts that have made me who I am today, and I would not change a single thing. So to anyone who can relate, I hope you can be kind and patient with yourself as you change, because change is never easy. It's uncomfortable, but it is also a sure sign of growth. Having learned all these things in my early 20s, I'm going to share a very funny truth with you all. I still have no idea what I'm doing and I have so much left to learn and grow in every aspect of myself. I feel like my life is starting over at 25 with this new perspective I've gained over the years and this renewed excitement I have about my life, but I'm ready to take on the world because I'm only 25. Days in the dark. with me.